when I was learning to become profitable, the one thing that truly accelerated my learning curve was to get in the minds of professional traders to truly understand exactly how they're interpreting the markets. And in this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth view of exactly what I'm thinking and what goes on inside my head whenever I'm looking to enter trades. And by the way, if you like these type of videos and you want me to do more videos just like this where I talk you through my thought process, then let me know in the comments because honestly, that's really the only way whether I know that I'm delivering content that you guys actually like. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now we are actually looking at GJ, which is GBP JPY, and we are currently on the daily time frame. So whenever we're doing technical analysis or even just analysis in general, there's a few things that I like to take into consideration when I'm looking at these charts. The first thing we need to take into consideration is price action. What do I mean by price action? And what I simply mean is, is just looking at the charts, just analyzing the charts and just kind of seeing what the chart is doing and how it's moving relative to the past previous candles. The second thing we take into consideration is we need to actually mark up the chart, put some technical analysis on the chart to find where our possible entries are going to be. Now, the third thing we need to take into consideration is multi time frame analysis. What do I mean by this? What I mean is right now we're looking at the daily chart, but we need to go into other time frames to refine our entries to see how we can sharpen up our technical analysis and then get nice sniper entries where we can have minimal stop loss and actually have a decent risk to reward ratio. So those are the three things that we need in a nutshell to allow us to create a profitable strategy and kind of find these little pinpoint entries where we can start entering good trades, profitable trades into the market. So right now, let's talk about the price action. What are we looking at here? We're looking at GJ, GBP, JPY, and what is happening in the current price action? We see right now as where we are in the market, we see the lows have been getting lower and lower. What do we see that's happening with the highs? We see the highs have been getting lower and potentially lower. So what can we expect based off the information that we have in, on the chart thus far? We can expect the next high to potentially be lower than the previous high. And what can we expect is gonna happen to the low? we can expect the next low should be lower than the previous low. Why? Because this is what's called a downtrend. So right now, what we're seeing is a potentially downtrending market. So let's go ahead and see how our thought process and our analysis is going to change based on how these next candles are painted. Okay, great. So this next high was indeed lower than the previous high. So this is still representing a possible downtrend. Okay, so what happened here, we were expecting a lower low, but that is not what ended up happening. What I see here is what's called a potential double bottom. So what we need to do at this point, we need to draw a zone because this area is acting as a zone of support. So what does this mean? This means if the market was going to reverse, this would be the area of where the reversal started. So now we really can't consider this a downtrend anymore. We need more information to see exactly what the market structure is going to be telling us. So, but there is one thing that we can potentially do. If at this point we were going to enter a trade, we could put a buy limit we could set a pending buy order if the market reaches this area again. So if the market reaches this area, for example, if the market goes from here and ends up coming down here, this would be a decent place to enter a buy. Why? Because this, ne this next low was not lower than the previous one, or in other words, they were equal. So if you had to enter a trade, this would be a decent area to enter a buy, to enter a long. And I just kind of made this small just to keep it out of, out, out of the way for now. So let's go ahead and see what else is happening with the price action. Okay. 
Okay, so we see that this right here was a double bottom. And the next thing that we see is this high was actually higher than the previous high. So what does this represent? This represents a potential sign of reversal. So the, the small little tiny bit of assumptions that we had over here, that analysis is getting a bit stronger because this high is higher than the previous high. So at this point, what we should be starting to look for are potential areas to enter a buy. So if the market reaches back here, I'm probably gonna enter a buy. It would be a decent decision to enter a buy. Okay, so our entry point was at this zone, so this means this trade that we had pending down here did not get activated or in other words the market left without us which is completely okay so next we need to continue drawing our potential technical analysis so the next thing i see the only thing i see that we can do here is to create a trend line starting from this low and then connecting it to the next low down here and then also connecting it to here and then look for a potential buy somewhere on this trend line. So if it comes down here, we'll look for a potential buy. Now, what else do we see that's happening in the price action? So what I'm gonna do real quick, just like I drew a zone down here, I'm also gonna draw some uh, zones based on the other support and resistance areas that I see here. So one zone that I see is just based off of this right here. So this can be a decent zone. Let me go ahead and erase these arrows so I can see these candles a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm doing here, just, just to let you guys know, I am connecting the tips of these wicks, including this wick, and I'm connecting the top of that wick. So I need to move this up just a tiny bit more. So that is this zone that we've created here. What is the point of, point of these zones? These zones represent areas where the market might react, where the market might bounce. For example, the market might bounce off of this this way, or the market might pass this zone and then bounce off of it this way and continue to go up. And the next zone I see here is I'm gonna draw this zone right here. I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did earlier. So that is this zone right here. And you guys always wanna make sure you, you extend these into the future, why? Because this is where the price action is going to be reacting at. And then this last zone I see here is at the top. So I'm just going to draw this zone right over here. So these are the zones right here that I'm looking at. So remember, these areas, we can either enter a sell or we can enter a buy. But the main point is, these are the zones where we are going to be entering or exiting our trades. And I do wanna let you know, since if this is a potential uptrend, it is a safer move to wait for the price action to potentially cross it and then touch it again for the retest and then enter a buy once it retouches it. Or in other words, it's a riskier play to enter a sell on these zones. So just know, if you do enter sells, you'll be hitting stop loss more often, yet you will be getting more opportunities to trade. So if you are a little bit more advanced, then you can enter sells on these depending on what's happening with the price action. Uh, but if you wanna be safer, if you wanna have a higher win rate, you would avoid the sells and you would just enter buys on these zones. So let's go ahead and continue. So it looks like the market is passing through this zone. Having some trouble breaching it. And now the price action breached it. So what I mentioned earlier, it is a safer play to enter a buy at this zone because at this point, we clearly see that the price action is making higher and higher and higher and potentially higher highs. We don't know how high this is gonna go yet, but it is definitely higher than all the previous highs. And what's happening with the low, the low is also getting higher and higher and higher.
So what we can do at this point, we can schedule another buy limit just like we did down here. We can schedule another buy. And the way to kind of schedule these buys is if you see the price action rummaging through the zone, you would want to put your entry a little bit above. You want to put the entry a little bit higher than the actual zone. Now, the stop loss ideally should be below the actual zone itself. So let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so now we are finally in our first trade. We have managed our risk. Now we need to figure out what we are going to do with our take profit. Now there's a few ways you can manage your risk and play this. So here's what I see. The market is trending upwards. And then this is our first trade because this trade did not get activated. So if this is my first trade, I would ideally want to hold this trade for a relatively long time but i do also want to keep it safe so here's what i would do if it's if the current trend what, what i'm looking at is an uptrend i want to at least secure my profits so at least i take some money off the table so at this point what we can do is we can set a uh a take profit at 100 pips so what we're going to do is we're going to set a partial take profit. Meaning if we entered a one lot trade, we're going to take half of it off the table once and if the market reaches 100 pips profit on this trade. So now at this point, I'm going to go into the four hour chart and refine this a little bit uh, deeper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my stop loss up a little bit just to at least get a one risk to reward ratio on this trade. So let's go ahead and back to the daily time frame and let's go ahead and see what plays out. Okay, so now at this point, we would have closed half of our trade and the remaining, what I would like to do, what I would like to see is I would like to see a final take profit, a final TP at this highest point. Why? Because if I do a TP any farther than this, it is highly unlikely that the price is going to breach this high. Why? Because the price hasn't reached that high in a long, long, long time. So if the price is going to reject anywhere, this would be an area where it would have trouble uh, reacting and getting any higher than that. So let's go ahead and move our final take profit. And the way I like to do my take profits, I like to have the take profit a little bit conservative, meaning I don't, I want the take profit to be not in the zone, not past that zone that I drew. I want the zone to be below that zone that I drew. So let's go ahead and uh, allow this market to continue to play. Okay, so at this point, the rest of the trade stopped out at break even. So pretty much all the money that we got with this trade was the 100 pips that we took profit over here. And even though the price went around 400 pips in our favor, because we were wanting to hold this trade long term, that did not end up happening. We lost all the 400 pips and then we got stopped out back at break even. It is usually wise to move your stop loss to break even after you've been in profit around 50 to 100 pips or so. So somewhere in that range, you move your stop loss to break even. That way, if the market does come back to your entry, you're not going to lose any money. So in this trade, the only thing that happened is we gained a little bit of money, 100 pips worth, and then the rest of the trade just kind of closed out back at break even. So we see this entry over here. If we were eyeing this trend line, this could have been a possible entry because again, remember the way that we want to enter these trades is you want to have a little bit of a conservative entry, meaning you don't want to touch the trend line. You want to have your entry a little bit above the trend line. So at least you're able to get in the trade. Then you want your stop loss to be below. But in this case, um, since I didn't see it, we'll just say um, I we missed that trade. So the next thing I see here is a couple more zones to possibly draw. Because remember, as the candles get painted, we need to always constantly, constantly be looking at places and areas where we can draw our zone. So I see a potential zone down here. What, what am I doing? I'm just connecting the lows or in other words, the edge of the wicks. And I see another high over here. So I'm going to draw another zone for this top over here. So these are the areas where I'm looking at the market might potentially react. So one thing I see over here, I see a confluence. What does that mean? That means there are multiple factors that are lining up and intersecting in this one spot that could give me a possible signal for a trade. And which direction are we wanting to trade? Are we trying to look for a buy or are we trying to look for a sell? I want you to answer this to yourself. 
Hopefully you've entered, you're looking for a buy. So we know we're looking to enter a possible buy over here. And the things that are moving in our favor are, this is a potential support area. And then we have our trend line already made. So what we can do, just like we entered a pending buy order here, and we entered a pending buy order here, we can enter another pending buy order right over here. And what do we want to do with our stop loss? We want to move the stop loss below the actual zone. So what are we going to do with our take profit? We're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to have our first take profit around 100 pips. And then we're going to try to create what's called a runner and have this runner continue to the top as far as we can because we've already secured profits. And why? Because this area will be very difficult to pass through. So let's go ahead and uh, change this to 100 pips to at least secure some profits. Okay, looks like the trade was activated and right now the candle is over here so it still hasn't hit our take profit yet. It's very, very close. Okay, so it hit our first take profit or in other words, we took half of our money off the table. So now we're going to attempt to have the remaining, the same exact thing we did last time. We're not doing anything different. We're gonna have the remaining potentially run to our final take profit. So let's go back into the four hour time frame and kind of just analyze and see what we might be missing out from the daily time frame. So one thing I see here is the trend. We have a trend line right here. So if we wanted to enter a short, uh, we obviously missed this trade, but this would have been a good short because we have our first anchor point, second anchor point, and this would have been a possible third touch for a short, which entering a sell is a little bit more risky. Entering a buy would be uh, less risky. But since the third point has already hit, I probably wouldn't take a trade on the fourth touch of the trend line going against the major trend. Um, but one thing I can do here, I can go ahead and create a zone um, from where the price reacted right over here. So let's go ahead and continue. So we could enter a sell um, at this zone, uh, but again, it'll be a little bit more risky. But let's go ahead and say that we are aggressive traders and let's go ahead and just enter a sell. So pretty much what we'll do here is we'll do what's called hedging. What does this mean? This means you have your buy open, your buy is still running, and, you're, and then you're gonna enter a sell even though you have your buy already continuing to run. So whenever we're entering against the trend, you want to have a very conservative take profit, meaning you wanna have a small take profit, and you want to take partial profits really quickly. And you also want to move your stop loss to break even fairly quickly as well. So let's go ahead and uh, put in an entry here for a sell. So it almost hit a stop loss, but then it continued uh, in profit. All right, so it looks like this one definitely hit our stop loss. So this trade, uh, we would have lost. So, so this is a losing trade uh, right here. So naturally, as I mentioned before, it's a higher probability setup if you want to go with the trend. So since we lost the sell, we know it was going to be a little bit more risky, but that's okay. That's part of the trading game, but we still have our buy continuing to run. So we are still in the money on a trade. Uh, so naturally what we can do here is we saw that the price action broke through this zone. Now we can enter on the potential retest. We can enter a buy at that zone as well. So we'll go ahead and enter a potential buy. So pretty much what we're doing here, we're just uh, scheduling a what's called a potential buy limit. And then our stop loss is gonna be below the zone. And as always, remember the first take profit is gonna be 100 pips. And then the remaining in this case, we'll just uh, continue, let it ride. But the main point is we're taking partial profits to at least secure some profits in case the trend completely goes against us and continues to go down. Okay, so here it looks like the entry, the price action barely missed our entry by like less than a pip. So this trade unfortunately didn't get activated, but we have our zone that we made over here. Again, just like we did here, we can enter a potential sell just like we did. And we just have to accept the fact that if we do enter this trade, it is going to be a higher chance that it'll hit stop loss and a lower chance that it'll hit take profit. So what do we do here? We need to make sure we adjust the stop loss to be above the zone. So how are we going to manage this trade? 
First thing we're going to do is if the price goes in our favor, we're going to um, take partial profits at 50 pips, a little bit more conservative, and then we'll let the remaining of the trade just not go all the way back to the bottom. Again, we want to be more conservative. We'll let the remaining trade just go to the, the next zone. It's just safer to t just to take final profits at the next zone. Okay, so our trade got activated, almost hit stop loss, currently in profit. Actually, we've taken our first take profit at 50 pips. You can see 50 pips. And now our second take profit, or, our, or, or in other words, our final take profit will be down right before this zone over here. And by the way, which is also, if you remember, the same area where we still have our buy order still potentially pending. Okay, so this trade has fully closed, so that's done. Now our next trade, this one here, has now activated for the buy, and we're gonna take partial profits once this trade reaches uh, 100 pips to at least secure some profits off the table. And the remaining, we're just gonna let it continue to run. Unless it hits stop loss. Okay, so this trade hit our first TP, and I'll move this over here. This trade hit our first TP, and at this point, we would have moved our stop loss to break even. This stop loss to break even. We won that trade, and then the remaining of this trade is gonna continue to run to the final uh, TP, which, would, which was way up here. So at this point, we've secured profits on a few trades, and we'll count the number of trades that we hit profit on uh, as we kind of go through this. But let me go back to the daily time frame and see what we can do here, if, if anything. So what I see here is just like we, we've been doing off of every zone, uh, we tried to sell this zone, it didn't work. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt a buy if and when it uh, breaches this zone and retests it. So we're gonna enter a potential buy if the price ends up going above this area. And then if it does, then we'll look to find a buy entry uh, at that point from there. So let's go ahead and move to the next candle. Okay, let me go ahead and move, zoom into the four hour time frame. What do we see that's happening here? So this wasn't a clear uh, full breach, so I wouldn't be entering a potential uh, buy yet. I need to see what's happening more to the market, the price action. Still consolidating a little bit. And I would want to stretch this a little bit longer because I now see these wicks are kind of poking through it. So I'm going to extend this to down here at least. So let's go ahead and move on. Price still creating higher highs. All right, so this was a clean break of the zone. So now would be a decent time for me to enter a potential buy limit. So we're going to schedule another buy um, if and when the price uh, reaches this area again. Stop loss again, as always, is going to be below the zone. And our first take profit is going to be 100 pips. And then our final take profit is going to be uh, where we've been doing our final take, pro take profits for all of these other trades here. Okay, so this trade got activated. Close to stop loss. It hit our first take profit. So meaning it moved over by 100 pips. So that means we're moving our stop loss to break even. We, we would have moved it by 50 pips. So once this trade was in profit by 50 pips, we would have moved it to, to break even. And then the rest of the trade is gonna be continuing all the way to the final TP. So now we have a few trades running. We have this trade running, we have this trade running, and now we have this trade running. Do we have any other trades running? So we just have three trades uh, running right now. And what I see over here, we have our next zone uh, created. So what we can do, again, if we want to be a little bit aggressive, we can enter a sell here, or if not, just wait for the break and retest. But in this case, again, just like I've been doing with all these zones in the past, we're, we'll be a little bit more aggressive, and then we'll go ahead and just enter a potential sell. Make sure we have our stop loss above the zone, and then our take profit Remember, we're taking our first take profit at 50 pips, which is right over here, and then we're taking our final take profit, we're just completely closing the trade out uh, just at this next zone over here. 
Why? Because again, remember, we're going against the trend. So we're not going to hold these reversal trades for the long term. We're only going to keep these as short term day trades because we still have our long term swing trades continuing to run. Just zoom in a little bit. Trade got activated. I'm assuming we had, our, we had our first take profit and then we've closed half of our trade and then we've moved our stop loss to break even. So at least we're not gonna lose any money on this trade. Okay, our final TP has been hit. So now we are completely out of this trade. And also our previous buy, this buy that we were holding for long term, this buy has actually hit stop loss to break even. So we only made 100 pips on the buy because the market came down and hit our... Um, hit our stop loss at break even. So what we can do here, we can just enter another buy. And right here, we are on the four hour chart. So I'll just kind of refine this entry because I see there's a lot of wicks down here. So I'm gonna refine my entry over here and then we'll have another uh, buy set pretty much right over here. And then our stop loss as always is gonna be below the zone. And again, same concept, first take profit is gonna be 100 pips, second take profit, same exact trade as last time. The final take profit is gonna be where the other take profits are as well. So let's go ahead and continue this. Did it hit stop loss? Nope. First TP hit. Move this take profit where the other take profits are. And then obviously our stop loss is now at break even. And I'm not gonna enter another sell because I already entered a sell and I lost it. So it is showing a lot of bullish momentum. But I do see the next zone that we had created over here. So again, since we're doing a little bit more aggressive trades, I'll go ahead and enter another pending uh, sell if the market reaches this area over here. And I don't wanna get too complicated and too messy for you guys, but Again, just like we have been doing on all of these zones, we're waiting for this zone also to get breached so we can enter on the potential break and retest. So we also have a potential buy being set up over there as well. Again, I don't want to get too complicated, but this, but if you're trading, this is what you are going to have to do. Notice I'm on the four hour chart. So a lot of time is being elapsed and we're entering trades day by day. Multiple days have passed in this case. From here to here, two months have, have passed. So it's not like we're just entering so many trades blindly. We're doing this in a very calculated way. And time is moving a lot slower than what I'm just explaining here in the short YouTube video. So as we enter our sell, same, exa same exact thing. We need to make sure our stop loss is past the zone. And then our take profit for this one is only going to be 50 pips because we're going against the trend. Okay, so we have a clear break and the price is up here. I think our trade got triggered. So now we're just waiting for the retest so we can enter our buy and so we can close this trade and full take profit. So what we'll do, we'll enter a potential buy at this zone, the break and retest of this zone. And then we're also waiting for this trade to hit take profit as well. Perfect. So this trade did not hit take profit. It actually went straight to stop loss. So that is it. That is also a lost trade as well. So we'll mark that one in the books as a loss as well. Okay, so where are we right now? Okay, so we are actually near the top of the final TPs that we had on all of these running trades here. So all of these trades are about to hit final take profit. So this is where, so this is what's gonna bring us a massive amount of money. So let's go ahead and zoom in to the four hour time frame again. We lost this trade, we have a pending buy limit, which unfortunately didn't get activated, but all of these other trades are about to get closed if it reaches uh, that, that take profit. Okay, it reached this zone. So, as I mentioned to you guys in the beginning, this seems like an area that's gonna ve have a very hard time breaching. So one thing we can do here is do the same exact thing we started at the very bottom. We're gonna enter a sell. Why? Because just like it created a double bottom, we're looking for a potential sign of reversal. Why? Because the market hasn't breached this area yet in a, in a long time. So this would be a decent area to enter a sell. So you can enter a sell right below the zone. The stop loss should be above the zone. 
Now, all of these trades in the past have now hit final take profit. And then what we can do here, we can take our first partial profit at 50 pips, just like we were doing with all of our sales in the past. And then we'll allow this short to continue to run and not until the next zone, but all the way back down. Why? Because this is the same exact thing we did with this long, with the buy. So we can do the same exact thing. But remember, our first take profit is going to be 50 pips. So let me go ahead and move this to 50 pip take profit. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Trade almost hit stop loss, but it didn't and it hit our first take profit. So now, just like we've been doing before, this zone, we're going to enter another buy on the break and retest. We noticed the price broke above it. Now we're just waiting for it to potentially retest so we can enter a potential buy. So we'll go ahead and enter a potential buy limit. And then the stop loss is going to be obviously below the zone, just like what we've been doing over and over and over again. And then our first take profit is going to be a hundred pips. Trade got activated, it is now in profit. So now we're gonna move our stop loss to break even. And then the price wicked up, hit our take profit, and then the rest of the trade closed at break even. So we made partial profits and then the rest of the trade closed at break even. All right, so let's take another holistic look at what we're looking at the price action. So we have our first trend line. Uh, this is pretty much useless at this point. The market is pretty far. This zone is pretty useless as well. The next thing I can see, we can try to draw a trend line from, I would say drawing a trend line from here to here, it's a little bit too steep. Probably better to have a trend line from here to here, going into the four hour time frame. Let me go ahead and refine this trend line. So what I'm looking at this trend line to do is I'm looking at this trend line to touch this area, touch this wick, and now it touched this wick. So that is that trend line that the wicks are touching. I mean, if we want to draw a trend line, we could draw a trend line, I guess, here as well. It's a little bit too steep for me, but I, I see that the mark is bouncing here, here, and then these little wicks here. So as long as we can connect, try to connect as many wicks as possible, that would probably be ideal. And then we still have this trade that hasn't been activated yet. Um, this gives me a little bit more confidence because you have this zone and we also have this trend line. So as long as the price action is intersecting in this area, that would be an ideal trade to enter. All right, so this trade got activated. First take profit, again, as always, we'll do 100 pips and we'll let the trade continue to run. That hit take profit. So now we have a new runner. These, all these other pre previous trades are now closed. And then this is now moved to stop loss break even. Okay, you can create a zone here. There's a double top right here. And this area might be another good area to enter a possible buy in this confluence area right here as well. So we can go ahead and enter a, another potential buy because again, it's safer to enter buys rather than sells. And again, the stop loss should be below the zone and the first take profit would be 100 pips, which would be right over here. Okay, so even though this trade got activated, I do have to uh, mention that this trade, we had achieved 100 pips profit, we left a runner running, but that runner has now actually hit stop loss break even. Now this trade hit 100 pips profit, now we have the rest of it going to the final take profit. Okay, which the final take profit was smashed. And then actually this sell over here, which we had that runner running, this sell has now been closed at stop loss break even as well. Now we are at the current time. Woo! Okay, so now give yourself a round of applause if you made it thus far. We analyzed this whole chart. 
We went through many trades using simple price action. We use simple technical analysis and we use multi time frame analysis, analysis just to kind of see what's happening in various different time frames. So let's go ahead and recap kind of what happened. This first trade was not activated for this buy. Second trade was activated, hit the first TP, and then it went to stop loss break even. This next trade activated, hits first TP, then also hit the final TP. This sell, this sell, I'm sure it went straight to stop loss. Then our next trade, this sell hit the first TP, which was 50 pips, then also hit the final TP, which was the zone. Then our next buy hit our first TP, and then it hit our final TP. And then our next buy hit the first TP, then hit stop loss break even. Our sell hit the first TP, and then hit stop loss break even. And then our next buy hit the first TP, then it also hit final TP. This sell just went straight to stop loss. This sell hit the first TP, and then our final TP was at the very bottom, but it didn't hit the second, but it didn't hit the final TP. So, th so the remaining was closed at break even. Uh, this buy right here hit first TP, and then the rest of it went stop loss break even. This next buy hit the first TP, didn't reach the final TP, so this second, so this also hit stop loss break even. And then this buy hit the first TP, and then it also finally hit the second TP, which is the final TP. And that is currently where we are right now. So notice a real trader, someone who acts, is actually trading with a strategy, you're always going to have some wins, you're always going to have some losses, you're going to have some break-evens, but as long as you can follow a repeatable process, you should have more wins than losses, and as long as you are managing your risk properly, you can avoid some losses by moving your stop loss to break-even and managing your risk. Notice not every trade went straight to TP. It wasn't all butterflies and rainbows. We had to actively continue to read what's happening in the market. We had to go back, look at the different zones, continue to draw new zones, continue to, to draw new technical analysis, new trend lines, and manage our risk as the trade is currently running to make sure we're doing everything by the book and we're trading with an actual repeatable strategy. This, this was a complex topic. We talked about a lot of different things and screen got a little bit messy because we were entering all the different trades. So if you need to watch this video again and kind of dissect things and maybe do it on your chart and just see how the market flows. So if this was valuable for you, this raw, just straight up, just me thinking and processing how the market goes, then let me know in the comments if you found it helpful. Leave a thumbs up if you did find it helpful as well. Feel free to share this with other traders so they can get an inside look of how to analyze the charts as the candlesticks are constantly moving and appearing on the chart. And for those of you who are looking for some mentorship, looking for some accountability, looking for someone to kind of look at your charts to see what you're doing right, see what you're doing wrong, kind of refine your trading, we do have a private mentorship program as well. The link is in the description. So feel free to click the link and all the information about our mentorship program will be there as well. That being said, if you found this helpful, let me know in the comments, leave a like, share this with another trading buddy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.